بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد just as a little reminder for myself and those listening that the doors of forgiveness and repentance are always open with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala no matter what sins that we've committed how we've uh, maybe let down others or maybe you have violated the rights of someone in the community or what have you you can always come back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala I came across this ayah in Surah An-Nisa where Allah tabarak wa ta'ala says fi kitabihi al-kareem a'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan rajim Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in this ayat in Surah Tun Nisa that whoever does evil or oppresses himself then he seeks forgiveness from Allah he will find that Allah is the most forgiving, the most merciful. In this ayat, uh, Imam Baghawi, rahimahullah ta'ala said, he said where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, in the beginning of the, the verse, where Allah tabarakah ta'ala says, وَمَنْ يَعْمِلْ سُوءًا Where Allah tabarakah ta'ala says, and whoever does evil, does su. Imam Baghawi said, Yani Asaraka. He said, This means or is in reference to being a thief, you know, stealing from someone. And then Allah says, Or that he oppresses himself. Imam Baghawi explained this by saying, By slandering someone who's free from doing that action, meaning that someone. To, to slander someone and that person is free from uh, do, committing that sin or committing what you have slandered them with. And then Imam Baghawi said, Wakil min ya'mil su'an ay shirkan o yadlim nafsu yani ithman dun shirk. So Imam Baghawi said about that ayat where Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala says, or that he oppresses himself, he says it is also said about this verse, or this, this portion of the verse, that whoever does evil, that it means shirk. It's in reference to committing polytheism. Or that oppressing himself means sins other than shirk. Those actions those sins other than shirk, other than polytheism. Then, where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, ثُمَّ يَسْتَغْفِرِ اللَّهِ Then he seeks forgiveness from Allah. Imam Baghawi said, أَيْ يَتُوب إِلَيْهِ وَيَسْتَغْفِرُ He said that the person seeks uh, repentance or he repents to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and he seeks his forgiveness. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Yajidi Allaha Ghafurur Rahima. That he will find that Allah is the all forgiving, the most merciful. So that's relevant for us because all of us commit sin. As the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Kullu ibn Adam khatta wa khayran khatayin atawabun. That all the children of Adam, they make mistakes or they commit sins. But the best of those who sin are those who repent. And so we ask Allah the Almighty for forgiveness by all of His divine names and attributes. And we ask that He blesses us with ikhlas, with thabat ala sunnah. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us all to be of those tawabin, those people who Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accepts their 
repentance and who comes back to him often. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.